Well, mm. there we go. Well, it isn't the book um, that we were after, um, but it's come really well, and um, yeah, it looks like a nice book to start off with. So we're really pleased for that. A good shot there, mate. Okay, uh, we're after a particular book this morning and uh, we were aptly named in the last few years the Bank Book because it's up on this bank and um, it's beautiful up here, it's been up here for three years that we know of uh, and it's his turn to go but he's, he's with a doe right down below us, Dan spotted with his big lens a book and a doe up here which can only be him um, but we're in this field and it's like waist high um, uh, grass and there's some sheep got in from the neighbouring farm so there's a handful of sheep in the field so it's all these different challenges um, if we call him straight to us here and he comes we're not going to be able to do a lot with him because he's going to we're just going to see the top of his head and his face so I think the plan is and we're going to go and then we can look down and see if we can call him up the bank or out that little wood uh, is the best thing to do but before we do that, I'll hop over this fence and look back down this uh, stewardship and, uh, and see if there's anything down there. So uh, it's like pulling the tooth, this is. You've got to just be careful and think it all out and not go crashing in there because we're actually on his turf that he's on every day. And, um, and he knows his patch and he knows the wind. And uh, he'll, if a bird flies out of a bush or makes an alarm call like a magpie he will definitely be alert if he's laid down so uh, yeah real challenge this one so we'll see what we can do um that's all we can do it's exciting isn't it mm. Time's moved on quite a bit now. We've been after this book for about an hour. Uh, tried calling in various positions from above where he is. Um, it's complicated because there's sheep in one field. Uh, it's very thick cover. Nothing's been cut over this side of the farm yet. And um, I've done a variety of calls um, from mature doe right down to trying to call a kid. Uh, our only clue or any sighting was Dan when we were stalking um, uh, the valley below us uh, and Dan saw two deer moving in amongst the sheep so uh, we can presume it's him and his doe uh, whether he was running her I don't know but uh, there's no, certainly no fetching them in I've got a uh, heat signature on my on my thermal down in his nettles which I'm pretty much sure is a kid that's come in so I thought I'd try calling the kid it might bring the doe back but um, they're either resting in the shade or they're uh, they're running somewhere else, 
or having a breather so uh, we're going to go down a little bit further and perhaps look back up where we can't see at the moment but other than that we're going to have to go and try somewhere else well that's the rut Good shot there, mate. Um, yeah, just seen a young young buck over there that I sort of had a little play with with um, uh, the bootlo, and uh, yeah, it's it's colder than I would have uh, really expected him to come. Come to this first little piece of woodland that you can see in front of us, and a uh, couple of long distance calls on the bootlo, a couple of real like real sexy calls. And then as soon as I got him, I uh, controlled him with um, the Fee Pew, uh, which is a, if you're English, it's like our Cherrywood Roger, uh, Richard Pryor call, but um, it's got a bit better mouth grip on it. Um, and I, he, I think he doubted us at one point, but then he um, then he came in strong, so uh, kept shifting around. So Anthony's trying to move around on the sticks, and uh, I know how excited he was, because I could actually hear his heart beating. Let's go and have a look what we've got, <laughs> as we always say. Get that on film, Dan. Fantastic. Well, uh, great start to the rut for us. Um, shot a couple of call books last week, but uh, haven't really looked at any trophies. And I don't know what we are now. Are we 24th, 20, mm. 24th July? So um, to give you an idea, um, we had a really, really hot week last week and it's cooled down, but it's thundery. Absolutely perfect for um, rutting weather. It was 15 degrees this morning when we got out of the car and it's probably 18, 19 now. Um, saw a young buck as we came over the over the brow of the hill and I just gave him a couple of feeps with the bootalo to um, to see if he was interested and I just held him so, you know, definitely the rut is on. And um, got to the first wood. We've got a bigger project up on the bank, hopefully. Um, but gave this wood a little call. It's just a couple of acre little wood and um, out come this book, beautiful book, beautiful colour, came to the call probably 
200 yards, 200 metres, and um, yeah, we managed him quite well into the shot, and uh, Ant did a great job. Mm -hmm. So well done, Thank Ant. You. Sometimes we make it look easy, <laughs> but it, yeah, I was I, I saw on uh, social media last night a guy had been out, and um, he couldn't get, he didn't see or any books or anything. So uh, it's uh, it's purely luck uh, and a bit of local knowledge when you're. Uh, on these road books at this time of the year and you never know what's going to turn up so uh, this is a book right on my boundary quite literally right on my boundary i don't know this book at all he's a, he's a good mature book he's not a medal class book he's a five pointer he's missing his back time and um, beautiful color and a lovely one for uh, anthony to have on his wall yeah Spiderman style anthony Spiderman style Spiderman yeah style. <laughs> well done <laughs> <my> <laughs> <gloves on. laughs> wonderful